All right, hello guys. Uh, today I'll be talking about uh, asynchronous D flip flop. Uh, I'll show you a pretty normal example, and I'll show you uh, of a D flip of an asynchronous D flip flop, and I'll show you how the timing diagram for it works. So let's get into it. So we'll today we'll be talking about asynchronous D flip flop. Um, so. Uh, the asynchronous inputs are preset and clear and first I'll just draw the diagram and show it to you uh, okay so right now I'm just drawing a diagram of a pretty normal asynchronous uh, flip-flop so okay that's Q right there that's Q not uh, that's the input and this is the clock so okay okay so this is a pretty normal example of an asynchronous uh, D flip flop so the a asynchronous inputs are preset and clear um, and they're special because um, they have th and they're they're special because uh, they have control over the output uh, regardless of what the state of the clock is so uh, for example here in this timing diagram I can show you like right here in the middle where the preset is low um, this will affect the output regardless of what the state of the clock is you know um, usually when the usually when Q the time when Q changes is usually when uh, it's uh, when it when the clock is rising so only when it when the only when the clock is rising but uh asynchronous uh inputs to the preset and clear they they can control the output regardless of what the state of the clock is so that's why they're known as asynchronous uh, and i'll just um sh also show you the truth table for this so preset and clear given when they're both zero uh it's not used uh, when it's zero and one, it's one, and it's one and zero, is zero, and when they're both zero, it will it will perform normally. Or I uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. When it's both one and one, so so what happens? So when both preset and clear are one, you look at the rising triggered. Uh, the rising part of the clock and at that point uh, Q will just follow D so uh, Yeah, so let's just do the timing diagram now so Here preset and clear are both one so Q will just follow D so it just will be high Until here and now we have to look at preset and clear. They're both one so Q will again follow D and it's low here so just low but right here preset is low and as they are as preset is an in, uh, asynchronous input this will change the output regardless of the clock so we don't look at the clock right now um, so preset is uh, preset is zero preset is zero and clear is one so it'll be a one um, until here and then now uh, preset and clear both they're both one so you look at D so now it will be a low and now again preset and clear are both one so you again look at D which will be high here so but here now clear is zero so clear is zero presets one so it will be zero mm -hmm. to here and then hello guys uh so i just made some errors in the pre in the video before so i just wanted to um fix some of the errors uh so let's just get into it so first of all um as you can see i put q is high here which is not entirely true because um uh, because q won't change uh until the first rising rising edge so uh, q will stay not defined Q 
you will stay undefined. And also another mistake that I made is here. Uh, I looked at uh, both preset and clear as one, which is not true. And that's what. And then, uh, and that's why I did. And and that's why I followed D and uh, put it put put Q as one. But that's not true because, as you can see, preset is actually zero here. So, uh, when preset is zero and clear is one, uh, or when clear is zero, uh, or when preset is one. Is gonna be zero, so Q and will be zero, so it's actually it just stays low here. So that's another mistake that I made here. So okay, now this should look good. Thank you.